Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see all of you up here viewing again. Thank you. Thank you so much to everyone who watched the video on yesterday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for making a girl feel welcome to YouTube. I do appreciate it. Today, I had a pretty good day. I'm going to tell you about it in a minute. Tell me about your day. Go into the comments below. I'm waiting on you. Go into the comments below and tell me about your day so we can talk about it. Let's talk about your day. I want to hear about it. Waiting for you. But today, I had a good day. Pretty good day. Um, it was just relaxing. Just sitting back. I, I love fish, so I fry some fish today. And it was just so good to sit down with that. And as I was just sitting down eating, kind of go back to thinking of back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. And I thought about the days, and I just wanted to share when um, I was little. And my grandmother used to, um, not just my grandmother, my grandmother and more people used to kill hogs. And um, I know. <laughs> I can go back to some of everything if I'm seated or comfortable or get relaxed but my grandmother and more people used to um kill hogs and um I remember them having the line um out and they used to um hang them up and get them cleaned and it it it's usually go into the dark and you know it'd be kind of cool back in the days and all the steam and smoke be rising up and they used to get the, she used to help the people get their meat stored into their smokehouse um, for the winter. And it just brought back memories as I was just sitting down, picking at my fish and, and just eating it. And just thought about it. Just thought about it. Just good memories to have with your grandparent. You had people spread out. Some was cleaning this, cleaning that, fixing, preparing, and they were all just working together just um, late at night. It would be late sometimes, just working together, getting things done. And it was just amazing for me to be able to um, experience those um, times. Really good times. And you know, back then, Things. I know people always say that because when I was coming up, my grandmother and other people used to say, you know, back then, back when I was coming up, things were different. It wasn't the same, but they're telling the truth. I really see what they're talking about. Back whenever I was little, things were a lot different than it is now, and um, it was just different. Things just seemed like it was smoother. I remember my grandmother, we were... um go to town she always had a particular cab person that she dealt with that she um, would call my grandmother didn't drive and she always had a particular cab person that she would call and we will go to town and leave the door open you just leave the door open close your screen door latch the little hook that was outside the door and off you went and when you came back everything was still in your house not even a latch had been moved off the door. Even back then, if people came up and they saw the latch, they knew you weren't home. And they didn't get out to try to go in your house and take anything or wander around your house. That I don't remember all that happening. But she never locked a door. That was amazing. Amazing. And we just, we would go to town and... um back then a lot of the stores i don't remember air they had fans like the big giant ceiling fans and they would just be whirling and twirling you go in there you take your time you just look and you will get whatever you want and come on out and 
there used to be my favorite. Oh, my favorite was a drugstore. We used to go to a drugstore, and you had to cross some railroad tracks to get to the drugstore. But we used to go to a drugstore, and at that drugstore, my grandmother would be in the back picking up what she needed, and I would be up front, because they always had ice cream and lemonade. How many of you remember um, drugstores like that inside your city and town? Comment below if you have some memories about that. And I used to be at that, I had a choice. I could either get the ice cream or I can get the lemonade. And sometimes I would get ice cream and sometimes I would get lemonade. And you know, those scoops were huge back then. They didn't give you them little bitty measles scoops. You got a big scoop and all you needed was one. Or if you got the lemonade, the lady used to have the big contraption. She put the lemon in and pulled the lever down and turn it and squeeze it, squeeze it and let it back up. And then, whoo, you talking about good. That was very, very good. And it won't long, I don't know how my grandmama called a taxi without a, um, without a cell phone. You know, we didn't have cell phones back then, but somehow that taxi knew when to come back. Well, sometimes it all depends on who it was. One of her people just knew when to come back and he came back. Sometimes we'll walk around to the cab stand and y'all guess what? At that cab stand, they had hot dogs. Woo, good old hot dogs. And there used to be a lady in there who um, made hot dogs. She was an elderly lady, but it seemed like she just put both feet in them. Woo, she made some good hot dogs. And yes, I know I had the lemonade or the ice cream, but I had to get a hot dog too. I had to get that one for the trip home. Um, and it would just be so good. I don't know. There's a big difference in the food now and then and back then. How many of you can tell the difference in the food now and in the food back then? Let me know in the comments if you can tell a difference in the food. Some people can't because I guess the ones who really don't have no effects from eating different things, they probably can't tell. But I can really tell a difference from food back then and from um, food now. Yes, you all. I was thinking about all of this today. And even back in the day, my grandmother um, used to have a Ringo type wash machine. Uh hmm. Some of you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about when I said the, the ringer type wash machine. She used to, she kept it on the porch. So she would just slide it out, get her some big wash pans and fill them full of water. And she would have them sitting on something, whatever she can find to sit them on. And she would have one um, that she would put um, fabric softener in and she would wash her clothes. The washing machine would just be washing. And this ringer you plugged in, so it ran off electricity. And it just washed and washed and washed. There weren't no rent cycle. It was just washed. So once they washed, as long as she needed them to, she would take them and run them through the ringer. And they would come out the other end and fall right inside of the fabric softener water. You talking about smelling good. And she would let them sit in there a little bit. They would be so, and you know, those clothes were clean, clean and pretty. The whites were just as white. And she would wash them up and let them fall inside that fabric softener. She would let them sit. Then she would run it back the opposite way so that the water would go back inside of the fabric softener bin and not in the wash machine. And once they ran through, she would pop them out. And she always picked like the windiest day. I mean, beautiful days. And she would hang her clothes out on the line. And they would flap in the line. And the smell, ooh, it used to smell so good. Um, and then she, she'll let them dry. They would flap. She'll bring them in and fold everything up real neat and put everything away. Ooh, I mean... Those were some fun days. Fun days. Woo. I miss those, but I am grateful even 
for today. It is a blessing even to be where we are on today. It is. And she always kept chickens. I was terrified of a chicken. When I was little, she used to have some. Um, and they used to, I was younger than then. They chased my daddy around the yard and pecked him on the hill. And for some reason, I've always been afraid of them. They used to sneak up behind me and I would run and scream like someone had hurt me. And um, I just didn't, I never liked them. Never liked them. She would go in and collect the eggs. I called my grandmother resourceful. I said, she is a person that's resourceful. She did. She never had to worry about anything. Cause she was always planting and um, getting um, beans and corn and stuff like that from, from the fields. And she would always put them away inside her freezers. And I'm telling you, those were the good old days, resourceful. And do you know that her stuff, her freezer, would be packed? I mean packed. Packed out. Freezer packed with all sorts of stuff all the time. I'm telling you, she would have meats and meats from where people... um did their hogs and they would give her meats and when she helped them she would bring loads of meat home and she would prepare it and put it inside of her freezer she was just always very resourceful very resourceful she canned her own preserves and um used to make hot biscuits and put the preserves over how many of you remember those days Comment below and let me know. Those are great memories to remember and share. I know all of this came from a plate of fish. Isn't that amazing? Just a plate of hot fish. And you can go back and remember all those memories. But those were the good old days. My goodness. Mm. And I just remember the times when she used to make cakes, and she would have this big old metal pan, a big, huge metal pan, and she would dump all her flour, all her ingredients, and she would get like a big, giant serving spoon, and she would plop and plop and plop and mix up that mixture. I mean, she would have a pan of mixture. Out of that pan of mixture, oh, my goodness, she would, I can't even tell you how many cakes came out of that pan of mixture. She would make them, most of the time, she would make three level, like the three stack cakes. She would make them three stacks and she would have chocolate. She would have chocolate with pecans. She would have all different kinds of just cakes, cakes, cakes. And whew, good, great memories, great memories, great, great. Miss miss my grandmother. She passed away in 2001, but she left um, me with a lot of great memories and probably a lot of my other family members as well with a lot of great memories. And all that I was eating that plate of fish, it's amazing how things can stem off. I remember her teaching me how to, how to fish. She had a pond near where she used to live at. And amazingly, I mean, there was fish in that pond. See, I was young and I didn't think about how I have a neighbor um, that lives across. I have a neighbor that lives near me and um, she's put fish inside of her pond. And um, you can fish in her pond and take fish out and you can. She likes for you to put them back in there to keep them to keep them filled but my, this pond, we can take them out and we would just fish. We would sit out there all day and, yes, I love to talk. I would be the one out there talking. She would go like, shh, you got to get quiet, baby. She said, the fish ain't going to bite if you talk. Why am I supposed to know that? I love to talk. So I was just trying to talk and get a conversation. But I did learn as time went on. And we used to have the repos and we used to go fishing and catch fish. Sometimes we would go 
um, to other type ponds and we would sit all day. Now, you know, children don't like to do too, do too much for a long period of time. She could sit out there from six to six. Honey, when six o'clock came, I was ready to go. Get out there with my little straw hat on, had my bucket and my pail. But honey, time 12 o'clock came, I'm ready to go. She used to bring food, but I'd be ready to go. I had enough. After we done caught, I mean, we would catch them, catch a lot of them. And then, I mean, I had enough. I'd be ready to go so I can just get relaxed. Oh, no, we stayed out there all day. And, you know, people used to come by, drive by and see us and stuff, and people didn't try to stop to cause no hurt and harm to people like how people can do, you know, today. We used to just really have a really good time. And that's one thing that I got from my grandmother that I still continue to do today is making memories. I always do stuff to make memories. You try that. Make memories with your family. Leave them with something that they can remember you by. And memories will go a long, long ways. Like how now my grandmother um, is no longer with us, but I remember all of the good things and the good fun and the things that we used to do together. I mean, it's just glorious. It is glorious, and those are great uh, memories to have. But isn't that amazing, the memories that you can get just from eating a certain food that can take you back? How many of you have memories like that when you eat something? It could be that piece of cake or that slice of pie or that chicken pastry. I know everybody may not like it, but you know what your favorite food is that take you back to um uncle or aunt or grandma or even your mom or dad somebody that you know that fixed something really really great that you love how many of you comment below and let me know who fixed those good those good dishes or who gave you those good memories as you was growing up and coming up and my last memory from that plate of fish y'all today came from when we used to meet on Saturday and my grandmother had a huge yard and we used to get out there in that yard out in the far out in the yard and play kickball or baseball. Oh my goodness. Those were the days you all. We had so much fun. I can see my uncle right now hitting the ball, running around the base. I can see his kids. I can see myself and my aunts and my other cousins and family members we had a really good time i'm telling you back in the day wow i love that i love that thank you all for listening to me and letting me share that with you it's amazing what a plate of fish can do or what some good food can do i enjoy sharing that with you I really, really did. Don't forget to comment below and share your memories with me. I'm waiting to read them. I'm waiting to hear about them. I'm waiting to talk about them. Last but not least, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You all come on and subscribe. And share. Share this video. Share it. I don't mind so that we can get ourselves out there, so we can get more people in, so we can get more great stories and more fun chit-chat. And we can, I'll be answering some of those comments, so we're going to talk about some of those comments and share what your fun times or share what you um share with us. And please hit that notification bell. So you won't miss a single video. You never know when I may call out your name and you may want to hear it. You may want to hear me discussing your, your comment or what you had to say. Okay? So always remember, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Always be blessed. Be blessed and always be grateful. And don't forget, there is nothing wrong with talking about it, 
releasing it and letting it go. Talk about it, releasing it, and letting it go. See you in the next video.